the new channel. The new channel. Hashtag TNC now. The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following shows are those of the host, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and great afternoon and evening to everyone and welcome to the new channel. Our passion transforms a community that sees all things new. I am Coach Ellen Perez and I'm streaming live from Mandaluyu City. Good afternoon, good evening, as I have said, and welcome to Women at Work Season 2 on the new channel. <music> Hello, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. It's great to have you all here in Women at Work. Ang galing mo, panalo ka. And this is your host, Coach Ellen Perez. And of course, Women at Work brings you raw and transformational stories of Filipinas from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, and across the globe to our Filipina OFWs, and featuring their world-class stories, skills, and talents. And in this new season, we are gifting our streaming viewers a more delightful features of our modern day Filipina women. And of course, we consider you all as heroes, focusing on their empowering stories, inviting you all to watch our episodes and expect to see the new better or if not the best version of themselves through this women empowerment stream show exclusively on the new channel. Magandang gabi at hapon, still rainy season. It's August, of course. Maulan lagi, di ba nga naman? Kaya naman po maraming salamat at kayo po ay lagi namin kasama dito sa Women at Work. And... Hindi na natin patatagalin dahil special po ang ating bisita ngayon. Very inspiring at empowering ang kanyang kwento. As she is also an al my alopecia sister. All right. So, kamusta po kayo? Ayan, I hope I was able to greet everyone. Great afternoon, great evening. Thank you for tuning in and watching to Women at Work. And ayan, sabi ni GP starting to tune in, watching. Hi, GP and Sunshine Friends. Wherever you are, ingat-ingat, maulan, may kulog, ayan, may bagyo, ata, or what? Basta kasi it's August, it's a rainy season, of course. So, thank you for watching. And, of course, I'm streaming live here in Mandaluyong. Share and like our... Um, of course, um, streaming show, and uh, you can always use hashtag Women at Work on TNC, hashtag the new channel, uh, and uh, has hashtag Ellen Paris. And you can also watch us live in YouTube. Without further ado, dahil ito naman po ay talagang para mapaunla ka na tayo at makinig tayo sa kanyang kwento dahil talaga po very inspiring. She is called the Princess of Chocolate in Bohol City. Ayan. And Dale Rich Food Products had its humble beginnings. Uh, in 1994, a small family business owned and managed by 
couple, Mr. and Mrs. Ricardo Pulat. Siyempre, parents na yan. With the help of their daughter, Dalrich, also known as Bohol Chocolate Princess. In the island of Bohol, Philippines, through the years, the family manufactures and sweetened chocolates, commonly known in the Philippines as Tableya. Ayan, used to make hot chocolate drinks. Paborito nating lahat yan, pagpasko at hindi lang pagpasko all throughout the years. Today, Dalrich is the manager of Dalrich Food Products and founder and CEO of Ginto Fine Chocolates Corporation. She continues to inspire Filipina across the globe as she is specialized in social entrepreneurship, sustainable community development, humanitarian disaster response, community outreach, sustainable cacao farming, women economic empowerment, and inspirational speaker. Without further ado, their viewers, online viewers of Women at Work, pinakikilala ko po sa inyo ang babaeng talaga nga naman pong Ang galing mo, panalo ka, Miss Dalrich Pollett, also known as Dal, our chocolate princess in Bohol. Hi, Hi. Dal! Hi, Coach Ellen. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, I think good morning to uh, who, uh, wherever you are in the world. Uh, um, yes. Thank you for having me here. It's an honor. Fine. For yeah, finally. finally, finally, kasi nung first season, pinilano natin, hindi ito natuloy. Kamusta ka, Dal? Kamusta dyan sa Buhol? Kamusta ang mga sitwasyon dyan? Yeah, um, thankfully, thank God, um, bumabalik na yung tourist. Um, like, you know, two years during the pandemic. Still pandemic though, but at least yung mga tourist natin bumabalik na. If you go to the Pangalaw Island where a lot of tourists, a lot of resorts, you can really see the different... Um, uh, you know, foreign or local um, tourists that coming here, visiting Bohol again. And we're very thankful for that because, you know, Bohol is uh, main, the main uh, industry is really tourism. So we're happy. Include, it's also including that our chocolate house, we have visitors every day uh, that's visiting our chocolate house. Nakakatuwang marinig yan, Dal, no? Kasi alam mo, I'm so proud of you kasi hindi lang talaga yung community mo dyan sa Bohol ang talagang natutulungan ng business ng family nyo. In fact, our country, di ba? Before anything else, kasi syempre, magandang lagyan natin ng konting background, di ba? What is the aim? Para mas ma-enjoy ang ating viewers, pretty much sure napapanood ka na nila, nakikilala ka nila, all over Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, at syempre, outside our country, Kasi talagang you've been featured everywhere, <laughs> di ba? Magazines, TV, radios. Um, pwede mo bang ikwento what is the impact of the humble beginning of your parents? Sa ating mga viewers, kung di nyo po alam, nakaka-proud kasi po ang kanyang mga magulang ay talaga naman pong napaka-hardworking. Isa pong tricycle driver ang father ni Dal at isa naman pong street sweeper ang kanyang mom na may special chocolate. Diba? Chocolate recipe na I think minana sa'yo o pinag-arala mo din at tinuloy mo ito. What is that impact of that humble beginning of your parents to you, Dal? Um, yeah, um, just to give a brief history, you know, like my parents like started that small uh, business when I was in elementary. I can remember even that ako yung nagdi-deliver ng tablea, which my mom uh, making while in still in grade four. But um, I think we saw our parents, like we're five, I'm the second. We saw our parents really working hard for our, it's actually not a business before Coach Ellen. It's just really a livelihood to help my papa as a tricycle driver. It's really a livelihood of my mom na, to sustain also the family, just to give food for the table. Well, kasi nag-usap sila na si papa yung um, for the food, siya yun yung pag, uh, para pag -ara, pang aral namin. Um, especially mga baon or like when we went to college na, like uh, tuition fee. But I think that it's really a lot of hard work and um, also uh, really faith in God because like I can remember that even my times na wala tala kaming, I mean, pera, some people really, na random people who give mom, mama uh, money in the street, like, well, she's uh, sweeping. Imagine that, this, those random people, but that money... Um, actually, kilangan namin, not, you know, that, that small amount of money na kailangan namin for, for that day. 
So I think that's also how amazing God is. Kasi alam niya na merong nangingailangan na tao, no? Na even like in the street lang, the random people. So many people help us along the way. And also, you know, it's not really overnight na nagiging malaki na kami. But it's also my mom who really started that small business. Yung pag-ikot niya ng pera at, you know, starting with um, three kilos of cacao, kami lang yung nagtatrabaho. I think also the big impact, um, I, uh, the journey of my parents until this day, um, I think it's really like um, believing that God will provide because, and also like you need to give back. Uh, kasi um, later na realize namin na kami then honestly a lot of people helping us now that i'm help we're also helping a lot of people not even in our business but the community itself the people who will meet along the way meron yan eh, kasi it's really um it's also the you cannot explain it well but um those um give me lord for you i think that's first that's really the faith and second is really if god will give you that something opportunity for it's really for you if it's not for you, there's something bigger than that. Kasi may mga times na we wanted that, but hindi yun yung binigay ni Lord sa atin. But there's something bigger than that. So many things that happened even in my journey. Kasi di ba, my mom started the table. Ako lang yung nag-innovate on it. So I studied in Belgium. But how come that's really a dream? Now, I want to go to Europe because the best chocolate is in Europe. But it's all, only a dream na... One day, I'll go to Europe and study about more chocolate and cacao since Philippines is a lot of cacao, but we don't give value to it. A lot of things around us na kulang lang tayo ng education. But God gave me that um, opportunity. But before that, He needs to give me another thing para I can, it, it's a process na pagdaanan mo muna to bago ka dadating dito. So, it's hard work, paid hard work and giving back to the community because until now, it's still, you know, we're not really on na mayaman na mayaman but I think we, can, we can really say that um, there's a lot of opportunity to help which is we, we would also help. Yeah. Wow! Grabe! I couldn't you know, I just nodding myself and talagang listening intently dal kasi sobrang humbling, sobrang inspiring. And you can see, you can really see how God works mysteriously, di ba? Sa ating mga viewers, tatlo yung binigay ni Dal sa ating tool, di ba? Faith, hard work, di ba? And talagang... Um, giving back, de ba? Pag-usapan natin yung giving back na yan kasi talaga nga naman, imagine all, only a dream tapos yung talagang perseverance, importante rin siya. I'm sure your parents waited for so long, de ba? Pero bago pa yung mga ibang magagandang kwentong yan, gusto ko bahagi mo sa ating viewers na nanonood kasi I'm sure baka kalahati ng mga Filipinos, hindi pa siya masyado kilala yung tableya. O kaya, di ba sasabihin, ay, ayaw namin yan yung mapakla. Di ba? Tapos, di ba, kagaya na nabanggit ko kanina, sasabihin, yan lang yung ginagamit pag Pasko, mag-hot chocolate. So, tell us about your products. Ano itong mga tableya ginto chocolates product nyo? Okay. Uh, Coach Ellen, also, you know, Philippines, cacao kasi is not, um, hindi yan talaga sa Philippines. The Spanish, the Spaniards brought that. Mm. So, but imagine, ang first country in Asia that planted cacao is Philippines. Wow! And then not, not everyone can plant cacao. It's only the countries around the equator. And we're so blessed that we have cacao. Even if you go Akalain around... Akalain mo yun, na-discovery yes. ng pamilya niyo yun, di ba? Oh, so kasi kami sa Visayas we're very kind of Spanish, even though also some of our language are kind of related to some Spanish words. So we grew up having that every morning. Honestly, we don't drink coffee here in Bohol, in mostly in Visayas. We drink <laughs> hot chocolate. Sometimes nga parang, uh, most of my friends are like hindi pala negosyo yan dal for you no, kasi you really drink hot chocolate every morning. So the playa basically it's really when we grow up. Diba, we remember our Lola and Lol, Lolo yes. when we go home. So, but to think that's the most expensive chocolate that we can actually be proud of as Filipino. Because that's the... Hindi pa yan, ni, hindi pa yan pinaprocess um, farther eh. 
So if you go, when I, this is what I've learned in Europe while studying there. Because my professor always told me, why are you underestimating your product? To be honest, when mm. we started this business, um, I, I, I go around even in Manila, then people ask me, what's your business? Tablea lang po. That's before I went to Europe and studied about it. So, oh, parang hiyang hiya pa, eh, no? Yes. And then I realized when you do research nga, and also when I studied there, my professor, why are you selling your this 100% dark chocolate in a very cheap price? I was like, because Filipinos don't eat um bitter and it's only for hot chocolate in the Philippines. So he was like, if you go back to your home country, you need to educate all the Filipinos because you guys can grow cacao. And that's the most expensive chocolate that you can sell. I was like, what? Because I grew up eating sweet chocolate and then for hot yes. chocolate, lang. so oh. he said that, you know, um, you have all this cacao from your backyard and all of this. You have different islands. Imagine we have 7,107 islands and we have cacao in each island. And it has different tastes. It's like wine and coffee. Wherever you plant mm. the cacao, it's the, 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 it will differ the taste because of the soil and the practices of the farmers. So basically, parang wine siya. If you taste this um, cacao from Bohol, cacao from um, Davao has different tastes, cacao from Bicol. That's the most mm. exciting part of eating dark chocolate, which is that's the most expensive dapat na chocolate. Because if we talk about those sweet chocolates, and dami na ng mga ingredients, they, they, they process it like so many, so many things na. So they put like whatever. If you look at the ingredients of those commercial chocolate, madami na. So kami, mm -hmm. um, my mom started tablea, de ba? That's the hundred percent dark chocolate. So, but in Europe they eat it because it's the most healthy chocolate. So wow. Ako, yeah, so ako... Ang I dami nating, sorry ah, ang yeah. dami nating trivia ang natututunan kay Dal, di ba, about chocolates? And not only that, culture, history, and yung talagang kumbaga, what we can be proud of, not just a yeah. Filipina woman to our country as well, na talagang, ito eh, ito nga parang, aha, uh -huh, talaga napaka-aha moment nito ha, Dal. Thank you so much. Sige, go ahead. Yeah, so ako, like, um, I... I made artisan chocolate, which is the ginto is the innovation of the tablea. So like 75% dark, meaning 75% cacao and 25% sugar. So that's the most healthiest. I mean, going up, at ito kasi just, you know, to educate also, if you see a dark chocolate, the uh -huh. percentage is the percentage of cacao. So wow. if there's no percentage on it, I would say that that's actually uh, not, uh covert real service. authentic yes chocolate I, I won't say that it's fake but it's still <laughs> powder they put like flavoring on it and all of that I, oh, oh. Really my good. eldest daughter pa naman really love dark chocolate oh so, my god Kukumbaga talagang ibig sabihin, kumbaga let's say in Europe or other countries nahihirapan pa silang to source out with tableya at ikaw at tayo ang pwedeng mag-source kanila noon. Imagine yes. that, talagang ang galing so, mo panalo ka, di ba? It's really the Philippines, no? Um we have with the industry position itself in it's a fine chocolate. So meaning high high-end yung cacao natin, yung mga products natin sa Philippines kasi the farmers, you know, work so hard for that. Yes. Kasi yung sa Africa, may mga issues sila on child labor. Tayo, nasa likod lang ng bahay yung cacao natin. We make table out of it. But um, we just need to make it farther, like pralines, yung mga parang jewelry chocolate. We can make that. So, Beautiful. Kasi meron wow. tayo niyan, yes. So, may comment that si GP. Sabi niya, I love tableya. Sabi niya ganyan. And then sabi niya rin, the impact I saw was how important one's faith to the family. Thank you so much, GP. Ngayon, babalikan ka namin, ha? Dal, sit back and relax. Uh, relax. Alam ko ang ating mga viewers ay eh, medyo bitin sa kanyang kwento. But babalikan natin yan later on after our commercial break. We'll show some pictures. And yung transformational story, yan yung napakaganda. Kasi you're helping your community. You're helping farmers, right? now and not just enriching your business the country the chocolate business in the philippines and of course livelihood ng ating mga kababayan so to our viewers sit back and relax stay tuned we'll be right back for more here at the tnc channel women at work ang galing mo
panalo ka. Stay tuned! We are back. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. You are watching the new channel, Women at Work. Ang galing mo, panalo ka. And of course, the new channel is an online alternative new media platform of online shows for people on the go. Please watch all our shows as seen on screen. And imagine having your own show, your own playlist, your own content. But we make it easier for you. TNC aims to transform the lives of our viewers through engaging, authentic, and original content. Our channel is a responsible global 24 by 7 platform that showcases Filipino talent, global influencers, cultural intelligence, and ingenuity. Women at Work is every Mondays, 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. And you can watch it live or replay via Facebook or YouTube. Follow us also in Instagram and listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Just search hashtag the TNC now. And for sponsorships, please email now at thenewchannel.com. That's again, now at thenewchannel.com or send us a direct message. Enjoy this life-changing shows because we made them exclusively 
for you. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Ayan, kamusta po tayong lahat? It's a rainy season. It's a rainy month. So, always keep safe. Kailangan lagi tayo may payong, raincoat, ano pa ba, lahat ng... Uh, Sandatang pang ulan, kapote, <laughs> ayan, everything kasi talaga namang umuulan. Kaya um, ingat-ingat po tayo those going out or even, uh, you know, uh, on commuting at uh, nasa labas. Even staying at home, you be safe and enjoy our show. So, balikan po natin ang ating uh, napaka-kahangahangang bisita, ang tinatawag ng Princess of uh, Chocolate. Ayan, di ba? Maging prinsesa ka nga naman, di ba? Bagay na bagay naman sa napakagandang mukha ni Miss Dalrich Pollot. Ayan. Ang ganda, di ba? Ibalikan lang natin ng konti bago tayo dun sa mga kwento ng mga transformational, ng mga challenges. I I saw this and I've heard it, but kasi di ba pagtitignan mo yung Dalrich Ano yung rich eh, di ba? Richness. Kasi pwede, hindi naman yan richness lang in money or wealth. Richness in kindness, in character, di ba? In goodness. Ha, paano nakuha yung pangalan mong yan? Napaka-unique ah. I know the story but I'm, I would like you to share it for our viewers kasi talaga namang very inspiring. <laughs> Tell us the story of your unique, beautiful name, Dal. Yeah, Coach Ellen, it's actually parang a lot of people ask me, how come your name sounds German? Or like, parang foreigner dating, no? Parang, I was like, hindi kayo maniniwala sa sinasabihin ko. So anyway, I'll be sharing this. Um, To be honest, it's not my parents who really gave that name, no? It's really somebody knocked the door in a bahay kubu house when I was born. Kasi before daw, uh, yung mga politician na nangampanya pa house to house. Eh. So, anyway, when there's a bahay kubo na hindi nila alam na may nanganganak doon kasi wala na, walang pera si mama, eh, sila pa, si papa actually nasa labas pa nag-drive. Hindi niya alam na yung um, wife niya nanganganak na. So, when they knock the door, these two guys, um, they hear the cry of the baby. Sila yung, parang yung, yung bata na nag nag-cry, yung nag-welcome sa kanila on that Kubo house. But they didn't know na may nanganganak doon. So, narinig lang nila yung uha ng bata when they, after knocking the door. So, uh, my lola was there. Sabi, sabi ni lola na, ah, oh, um, you cannot get in kasi may nanganganak dito. Sabi ng two, two guys na, pwede ba kami magtingin lang sa bata just to check? Kasi one of the the visitor, yung politician is one of, of them is doctor. So, they want to check lang the the mom if okay lang ba siya. So, when they get in, sabi nila, can we give the name to the baby? So, sabi naman ng lola ko, ay wala yung, yung papa nito, hindi namin alam if pwede ba bigyan ng pangalan. So, anyway, sila yung nagbigay ng pangalan, yung running for mayor here in Tagbilaran City. But, yung isang lalaki na running for counselor, sabi niya, wag yan kasi matan, pang matanda na yan, Josefa, dapat yung pangalan ko. So parang hindi na yan sa, sa generation ng batang yan, hindi na yan proud na magiging Josefa ang pangalan. So how about dollar rich? Dollar? Marami rich pa siya. So hindi din nila alam yung spelling. Ah. So, put the name, eh, yung sa midwife, sabi niya, eto yung pangalan ng bata. So sabi ni Lola, hindi namin alam if ma-approve ba yan. So kasi wala yung papa. Kasi yung time daw ni mama, hindi daw pwede mag, magsalita if nanganganak ka. Kasi yun yung parang, you know, hindi ko alam anong... Kasabihan or mga kasabihan. tradisyon nila noon, Pero right? Pero narinig lang niya. Okay. So, they give the name. So, sabi ng midwife, uh, Sir, i-register po namin to if uh, darating yung, yung ang papa. So, when my papa arrived, sabi ng lola ko, they cannot even pronounce the name, no? So, but sabi niya, may, may pangalan na yung uh, anak mo. <laughs> <laughs> sabi ng lola. Sil- so, nagulat pa sila. Yes, and then sabi niya, ah, meron ng supposedly pangalan kasi yung ate ko, Irene, supposedly Irene yung pangalan ko. Sabi ni Lola, wag na yung i-object kasi hindi natin alam anong plano ni Lord for that baby. Beautiful, wow. So, if, uh, continue na lang yan. Let's, let's just, you know, um, watch that baby growing up. Ano yung parang ba, ba, baka may mission or like, yun na nga, purpose ni Lord for that baby. Bakit may pangalan yan? Sabi ni Papa, ayaw ko yan kasi yung social status natin is na unappropriate sa pangalan ng bata. Uh-huh. So, so, sabi ng lola ko, 
No, just um, the register yan, the register. So eventually, na register, and eventually, yung dalawang politician is na nalo sila, mayor ng Tagbilar at saka first councilor. And they were invited by the politician to be in their victory party. Hindi sila pumunta. Kasi nahiya sila na ang layo ng social status. Kaya nagiging, oh, wow. brand, nagiging brand yun sa table. Kasi mama wanted to know yung nagpangalan sa akin na natuloy yung pangalan ko. That's why nagiging brand name siya. Galing! <laughs> Napakaganda naman, di ba? Talagang merong purpose ang bawat ano talaga, eh, pangyayari, sitwasyon, di ba? So, teka lang, dollar rich. So, paano na, ginandahan nyo na lang yung spelling, inayos na lang, or hindi nyo rin, kumbaga parang, sige, ito na lang, or yan din yung mismo yes. sinulat, yan din, yan din yung siya mismo yung sinulat. sumulat. Yeah, siya wow. yung sumulat. Pero, Coach oh. Ellen, yung pangalan niya pala is dollar rich. Si Dr. Dollar Rich. Have you so, met think, him? Yes. Have you in met my, you? <laughs> but this is really funny because I remember that I went to his clinic when I was grade three, and then he gave me uh, 30 pesos and a uh, one one pack of pulboron. That's the only thing I can remember when I was young. And then in my 30th birthday, um, dahil sa mga tao na, oh, bakit hindi kayo nakita? They celebrated my birthday in the resort in Panglao. Pero yung pangalan ko nga, pinalitan lang niya ng O, A. Kasi O siya. B-O-L-O. Tapos B-A-L-O. Wow. How is it like meeting him? Tapos did you like, parang thank you kasi this becomes a blessing to our family, to the Filipinos here in Bohol. I'm, I'm yeah. sure al- nalaman niya yon Ano yung yes. experience noon? Yeah, actually, nagkwento na din yung, yung friends niya, akala din nila na I'm related to them. Eh. Kasi yung lahat ng anak niya, may rich, rich, chard, rich shell. Ako lang yung parang nakasunod na exactly the same. <laughs> so, um, they actually, sila mama at papa, when in my 30th birthday, parang they, of course, they gather and they talk about it. It's kind of funny lang kasi when they talk about it, parang nag- uh, continues yung parang ha kaya pala ganito and then they also look back na may may purpose talaga si Lord bakit ganito yung sabi nga niya poli- being politician na lang yung kulang mo <laughs> sabi ko no not that I'm not this way <laughs> so yun lang parang it's kind of funny na we connect the dots na on, on the past and also they're very helpful ganda naman ang kwento I'm sure all our viewers are enjoying this um this show of ours at saka itong episode na to sa'yo. Dahil, syempre, in reality, hindi lang lahat to talaga, kumbaga, magagandang mangyayari. Aside from your trusting God, your faith, trusting the process, meron dyang hard work, challenges, trials, sacrifices. Kagaya na binanggit mo kanina, imagine po, ah, mga viewers natin, si Dal, grade 3, grade 4, no? Nag-aaral ka at nagtitinda ka rin ng tableya. Imagine that, di ba? So, all of those, lahat yun naranasan nyo while your parents are still also doing their regular job, naggumagawa pa rin ng pag, ano, ng pag-produce ng cacao or ng tableya, right? Neto ngayon, I'm sure ang mga parents mo ngayon eh sit back and relax na lang. They deserve it, right? <laughs> Pretty much for sure. Pero, eto nga, nagkaroon tayo ng pandemic. Nagka, naroon pa ng Typhoon Odette, di ba? Last December. Paano nag-cope up ang Dalrich uh, chocolate business, ang mga boholanyos? Paano kayo nag, ano, so, paano nyo, kayo nag-adjust dito sa pandemic natin? Um, yeah, it was really during the pandemic, it's really a big challenge for Bohol since, I, as I mentioned, Bohol is the main tourism, uh, yung industry is talagang tourism. When kami yung isa sa mga, ta, mga province na nauna nag-lockdown, so lahat hindi naka-ready. Even I was still in Manila like a few days after lockdown na kami. But kami kasi, we actually deliver our chocolate outside Bohol. It's one, one big challenge for us is uh, logistics. Kasi when you lock down everything, I mean, even the mahihirapan kami on sending chocolate. I remember when I sent um, tablea and chocolate to Manila, it takes us for 20 days na melt na yung chocolate na namin oh pagdating doon. So parang, I was like, oh no, how can we do this? Kasi walang tourist, walang, 
walang negosyo. Only the supermarkets kami nagsisupply locally. But we have supermarkets outside Bohol. But I think it also opened a lot of doors for us because 2019 was really uh, big for us. We got three international awards, especially the Academy of Chocolate Awards, which is the first time the Philippines got that award for the first time, drinking chocolate. So kami then it's my mom, no? Na, na recipe Congratulations. Na wow. Internationally. Mm -hmm. And we got a lot of inquiries abroad. Na how how can we, you know, bring your product abroad? And I realized, Coach Ellen, na mas easy pa mag-send abroad than mag-send sa Manila. <laughs> Kasi when we got a lot of emails, hindi ko yung pinansin. Kasi sabi ko, ah, mamaya na kasi um, we're focusing on local muna. Uh -oh. When pandemic mm -hmm. happened, okay, nireplyan ko lahat yung emails. And then, when I sent chocolate to Sweden, started in Japan, it's more easy to, you know, that's also parang my challenge, pero my opportunity, no? So, I started sending chocolate to those customers abroad, which they're Filipino also, and I wanted to promote our own products. Wow! In Sweden, in, in Australia, so, and then in Japan. So, kaya nga sabi ko, no, if there's a Pro, it's a problem or there's a uh, problem on um, challenge on in this world there's also opportunity and mm -hmm. then but maraming nangyari no sa pandemic but we didn't stop helping also but I will talk about it after siguro but during Odette it really break my heart because knowing that Bohol suffer pandemic there's no tourist and na odat pa kami but it's really slowly slowly going back na sana yung tourist but odat came in december which is our peak season sana na madami oh, no. ang cacao mm -hmm. mga farmers na harvest season nila but when we went to different towns parang sabi ko nga parang oh my god parang december hindi ko na experience yung parang feeling ko hindi siya christmas kaya i'm always in the mm -hmm. community doing a relief operation, even crossing different islands na hindi ako marunong lumangami, pero I went there. Just wow! To help. So, pero I can say that um, going to different um, communities na hindi ko nga communities during Odette can really see how resilient Filipinos are and how helpful the people are even during the social me social media lang nagpo-post ng donation people you know help but even hindi ko nakilala si lahat and i would really also you know all the people who help us during all that i'm very very thankful kasi not only our family is affected so many families in in bohol is really more affected than us so iniisap namin more them than us kasi we're okay naman i think our, our house is okay but a lot of farmers a lot of people families don't have homes so yun yung until ngayon ginagawa pa namin <laughs> I'm so honored and uh, you know humbled hearing this beautiful story of you Dal kasi talagang nasa puso mo na yung pagiging matalungin dahil alam natin kung paano kayo nagsimula ganun ka ka kind hearted ka humble and uh, importante yung you give back and at the same time you don't expect anything at return kasi maganda yung attitude mo on how you were brought up by your parents that you have to be grateful you have to be really um helpful as much as you can and you know thriving and at the same time um you are not just kumbaga particular sa area mo eh halos kung saan yung pwede mong malilibutan na kaya mo and to think hindi ka marunong lumangoy hindi mo alam yung iba-ibang areas talagang wow kudos thank you thank you so much for your life it's an honor that we have you because it's really very inspiring diba talagang ang galing mo women at work panalo ka diba Ellen, actually i can't do it alone there's also like yes. a lot of people na parang mm. sabi ko nga parang i don't have resources lord pero may tumating na mga tao na even the pnp yes. the military oh, oh. navy sabi ko nga parang mayroon 500 sacks nandoon sa pier wala po akong tao pero sabi niya yeah, kami na imagine din those those donations hindi ko din alam sinong nagpadala basta pangalan ko lang yun so parang sabi ko wow like this is how amazing lord yes. is so, uh, you know he he knows 
He knows mm-hmm. talaga. Very beautiful. Dal, tuloy natin ang kwentuhan sa papamagitan ng uh, photo sharing, di ba? Kasi nakita ko, surprise to sa'yo, hindi mo alam itong mga ito, but I know you can share us a story about these beautiful pictures. Direk, can you show some of the photos that we have here? Walk through us this beautiful story. Ayan, no, alam mo ako kasi talagang pangarap kong magtanim eh. Pangarap na lang ba ito talaga? Parang yung mga kamay ko talaga walang kapasidad, hindi ko alam. So what is this? Ah, uh, sa backyard Ellen, mo to? Yes. That's actually when the, the pandemic started. Alam mo naman tayo, well, like, we need to really stress, especially we're alopecia. We oh, have yes. alopecia, no? So oh, uh, oh. I think that's one of the, parang sabi ko nga, uh, parang uh, to to get out all the stress, uh, stress uh, with, with the pandemic that's happening in the world because overthinking costs you stress. That's actually mm-hmm. one of the cacao tree that I planted at the back of our chocolate house. Now, they're growing and they're bearing fruit now. So sabi ko nga, wow, like if you really have this, um, parang you planted something, you can really get something out of it. Ngayon, my, my, this, that's not the updated picture, but meron na siyang fruit. So wow. that's the first cacao. This picture also, this is like in 2014, one of mm. our community in farther town from, from the city. So um, this picture is um, from our com- one of our community. That's the cacao tree uh, with the fruit na. Kakaupa. So, tinuturuan mo rin yung mga farmers dyan na magtanim at kung paano nila i- a- ano tong kakao. Ano bang tinatawag dyan? So, pagkakuha niyang fruit na yan, cultivate. makikita sa love, ikukultivate. White yung loob, di ba? Yes. Um, actually, the fruit is like, uh, if you see the, yeah, parang yeah. mangusin siya. If you taste it, um, Coach Ellen, it's actually sweet. So, parang before, mga kabataan, especially if you have kakao at the back, kinakain lang namin yan tapos tinatapon. Hindi namin alam na, hala, for chocolate pala yun. So it has different colors because it has different varieties also. But you know, nga sabi ko, this is how amazing chocolate is. Kasi yung iba, ganito iba, bang iba. mismo ganyan from that ganyan na talagang actual product. Pwede yan ma-export or ginagam, ginagawa nyo na siyang product na right talaga? Right na. Um, from, from the wet beans, if um, uh, the farmers will um, remove the, the fruit and then mm-hmm. they dry it. Um, but before that, they do fermentation if you make chocolate. After drying, they can get, they send it to us. So, um, the, we roast it, we roast it, we grind it, we mold it, and we make um, whatever chocolate that we wanted to make. So, that's basically, that's the fruit of the cacao that's in the picture. So, wow. yun yung, sabi ko nga, Philippines is very blessed because we have those cacao trees. A cacao Beautiful, oo, oh, oh, diba? At sa ibang bansa, wala niyan. Yes, yes. <laughs> Direct next picture, please. Ayan, yeah, that, ano yung mga, eto na siya, pag ganyan na. Yes, that's the pralines na. So, um, that's, when you bite it, there's something inside, passion fruit, um, ganache, and um, fruits, or whatever. I can put ginger in it, I can put like, something beer like if you go to Europe diba may, if you bite it may something dito ba sa Manila san, san kung gusto nilang bumili meron bang makikita sa grocery sa department store or online lahat um for honestly before pandemic coach Ellen we supply some of our artisan shops in like mga resort like um some of the big um resort there but before kasi um ngayon we're focusing muna on the production kasi we're mm. meron problem after Odette on the production mm-hmm. side. As we're catching up orders, um, especially may mga tourists na din. That's, that next picture, is, that's the old poster that we used to have. Uh, we changed already the packaging of our tablea, but we used that during um, exhibition in Manila. When I remember the first time Mama went to Manila to exhibit in World Trade, yun yung old poster namin before. Yeah, that's the old um, packaging also. Yeah. Beautiful, ha? Ito mga, ayan, ginto. Yeah. May ginto, di ba? May... This is our Christmas collection in 2019. So, because I want to help community more. So, um, that's uh, the Liberon, which is the barangay name where we support community. So, uh, that's still the prelims na I used to um, think on what fruits we have in the Philippines to put it in the chocolate. So, passion fruit, manzanitas. I'm not sure if you know manzanitas. Mm. That's the small cherry. Um, oh, oh, wow. So, it has different names. 
and it has different flavors. So we used to um, uh, sell this in the corporate um, giveaways in last December 2019. Yeah. That's Beautiful. Direct, I, I know there's a picture there na si Dal parang nasa ibang bansa. Ayan, anong mga happenings na yan? Yeah, this picture in uh, I'm I'm actually doing some workshop in here in um in the chocolate house for the kids for the how to make chocolate. So what's the... Wow. So pwede rin yan. Ginagawa mo din yan sa mga kababayan diyan. Nakakatuwa yeah. ka naman dahil. <laughs> Oo. Kasi pwede rin nilang matutunan. Tapos since naman may mga chocolate, chocolate table, chocolate in your surroundings, di ba? Why yeah. not? It's also part And, of the educational coach, Ellen. Because that's one of my advocates to educate Filipinos about chocolate and cacao. Yes, maganda yan kasi that's very true dear viewers. You pass on to the next generation your wisdom, your talent, your gifts, 'di ba? Ano naman 'to? Mukhang um, batang ka pa diyan. Sorry <laughs> naman. Um, I think that's one of the visit of the US ambassador in 2013 or 14. That's long time ago. I was so skinny pa that time. <laughs> batang bata yeah. ka pa rin naman ngayon. Hindi at least makikita ng ating mga viewers, 'di ba? Those who are watching us. That yeah. yun talagang all throughout this years, the hard work, the transition, yung determination ng family na talagang hindi lang yung produkto niyo yung makilala. Imagine yung bansa natin, ang flagship dinadala niyo sa ibang countries. Yeah. 'Di ba? So a round of applause for that. Another picture, please. Kasi nakita ko nga may mga awards yeah, okay. ka pa yeah, This one. Is In my recent trip, I went to Switzerland to um, showcase our Filipino chocolate, uh, like specifically Bohol chocolate in in Independence Day celebration in Geneva, Switzerland. So they invited me to be there in the celebration of the Philippine National Day. So it's an honor that you know to bring chocolate there. Now Swiss chocolate is very big in Switzerland. Yes, imagine. <laughs> May parte yeah. po tayo sa ano, 'di ba? Sa kung yes. may contribution ng Pilipinas. But Coach Ellen, actually, the dream really when I started is to really put Philippines in the world's chocolate map. But it's slowly happening. Not only because of myself, but also the industry itself. We're working, holding our hands together to put the Philippines in the world's chocolate. We're a very small industry. We are not competing. We're friends. Because we really wanted na Philippines can be highlighted, not just Europe, because we have the best cacao and chocolate, and we help uh, farmers in the Philippines. That's one of that's the one of the ambassador in Geneva. Na while well, I'm nagluluto ako ng hot chocolate, meron din nagtatanong sa akin, because we have also different chocolate. Yeah, so very cooking, beautiful. And, yeah. How is it like dal na talagang kubaga? representing the country kasi you're not just representing your product your business you're representing our farmers you're representing the Filipinos and we are just so proud of you diba we have you here and talaga namang napakaganda at napakagaling how does it feel like representing the Philippines our tableya internationally yeah also i would say coach ellen that like even the title itself the boss chocolate princess When I started, I feel like, huh, I don't want to, you know, have a title, but the people, you know, keep giving me that title because of the media. Kaya sabi ko, I think I just need to embrace it. But I think Lord has a purpose why the media people in 2013 gave me that title. Because before I was like, oh, I, I really hate mm -hmm. being in a, in in that um, in, parang yeah, media. In a, oh, I don't, yes, I, I'm I, like, I'm a oh, oh. person na. Even my college classmate or high school classmate, I'm very mahiyain. Eh. I'm just always at the back. But they can even see what well, transform. Like you talk to so many people, you speak to you when you when you uh, go into the show, whatever. But I think, kaya nga sabi ko, I think there's a purpose for everything, no? And like putting, being an instrument also to help people, not just farmers. Like by this chocolate na my mom started. I would say that I always credited to um, my my family plus like most importantly to our Lord because for me that's a mission. This is not the work, but this is a mission and my purpose. And so many challenges along the way. I had a lupisha when I was young until now. Yeah, I, get stressed. yeah so, I was about to but, say that she's also our alopecia sister. Pero tignan nyo, hindi siya na bother. Paano mo ano? I mean like. 
Kasi syempre, diba, those with alopecia, minsan ang daming nambubuli, ang daming masasabi na anak ko, ganyan-ganyan, or whatsoever. I mean, that's, kumbaga, wala na sa iyo yun eh, kasi sa dami ng pinagdaanan mo. Pero syempre, may pain pa rin, diba? Pero, yes. how does it, ano, how does it affect you? Coach Ellen, when I had that, that nobody know, I mean, nobody knows, nobody understand me when I was in high school, it was tough. Like, for me, I'm like, huh, bakit ako Lord? <laughs> diba? Parang, I question even Lord. <laughs> na bakit ako? Kasi I, I also had that experience of being uh, na bully um, in, my, in my high school days. But now, I would say that um, with that challenge, it made me stronger of who I am now. And also that, that challenges that I had, that alo- we have that alopecia along the way we had that every time. Meron, meron, that, meron yan eh. Nandun na si Dugo na natin yan. Mm. But that, I, I, I feel like this is also part of me that I can inspire more people. Even your, I would say some people like you are abnormal, but I would say, yeah, we're abnormal. Well, we're normal, but if you think that we're abnormal, it's okay. But at, we're all, in the eyes of God, we're all the same. But I think that's the thing na ano yung magagawa mo, magagawa ng iba, magagawa mo, di ba? But it's really a lot of things na kailangan mo siyang i-embrace, na i-accept sino ka talaga at ano yung meron siya sa'yo. Because, but there's a purpose why you have that with all, all of the things that happening. Yeah. Beautiful, very well said. Time is uh, so short for us, Diva. Right? I'm pretty much sure all our viewers enjoyed this uh, episode of ours. Kasi talaga namang, uh, hindi lang siya encouraging, hindi lang siya inspiring. Very moving because it allows us to, you know, look into our heart and see our purpose. And ang kagandahan talaga is you're driven and you're living with your purpose. Dal, can you invite our viewers and let them know, um, let's say in the future, they want to order or w- what are your social media accounts? If there's anything that they can, you know, look into, probably they want to order or whatnot. Can you just uh, let them know how they can get to see or pag nagpunta sila sa Bohol, di ba? Pag nagpunta kami sa Bohol at baka in the future, pwede ka magpadala dito sa TNC. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Coach. Um, yeah, if you want to order, you can visit our social media pages. We also have a website, a Dollar Rich Chocolate House. I'm the only Dollar Rich if you can research, Google it. Ako lang yung lalabas on it. But of course, that's uh, our business page, Dollar Rich Chocolate House. And also Instagram, the Dollar Rich Chocolate House. They can message us and we can send orders wherever you are. And yeah, if you happen to be in Bohol, you can visit our chocolate house and you can see each other. If you go to our chocolate house, we actually give free taste of whatever we have the chocolate. It's free. You don't need to um, pay anything. This is also part of our advocacy to um, let people taste what we have. It's up to them if they will buy or not. Yeah. Thank you so much wow. for this opportunity. Wow, very ano ah, very blessed na makasama ka namin talaga and at the same time yung um get to understand and get to know the 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 the, the business it's not really a business sabi mo nga eh diba it's really uh, a ano a purpose a family purpose and habang may time pang konti I'm sure you want uh, I'm I have read also na, syempre, di ba, all of your siblings graduated as well, right? From this humble beginning of your parents. And I think I read it in Philippine Star, yung kapatid mo rin nasa ganito ng business, tama ba? Or parang nag na rin siya? Pastries or what? Um, yeah, my my sister who started Cookie. <laughs> cookie Uh-oh. in the pandemic kasi parang bored kami eh. And then we cannot send di- anything. So parang sabi ko, Sabi niya, okay, let's make something out of it, out of her chocolate. So yeah, she started um, um, having cookies. So until now, sabi ko nga, actually I judge her on that na, ah, oh, pandemic lang yan. But until now, babalik talaga yung mga, you know, mga customer niya every now and then. So You're really blessed. Out. Your family is really blessed with that talent. And hopefully soon, maka, ma, ma, magkaroon ako ng pagkakataon with God's will, makabunta sa buhol, mabisita ka at gusto ko ma-experience yung pag, pagtatanim. 
Oh, yes. <laughs> hindi yung makatikim ng chocolate, di ba yung magtatanim? Kasi talagang hirap na hirap akong magtanim. <laughs> With that, thank you. I can bring you to you the community coach to yes. plant your yeah. own food. And I want to meet the farmers, the lady farmers there, the, your parents, beautiful family. God bless you there. Keep safe. Thank you so much, Dal, for your enriching story kasi talaga namang very noble and very humbling. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. You take care. And to all our viewers, maraming maraming salamat po for watching Women at Work. Ang galing mo, panalo ka. Stay tuned. Watch us every Monday. Share this video. This is streaming via YouTube or Facebook because we are here to help you see the new you and of course bring you inspiring women empowerment stories. Again, this is your host, Coach Ellen Perez. Women at work, ang galing mo. Panalo ka. See you next Monday. Bye. Thank you, TNC. Thank you, Miss Apple, Direct, and everyone. Bye. Thank you, Dal. Music